This is the Philandry Report. We're here with women's basketball head coach John Motherwell. Well, coach, your first season as a collegiate head coach saw its ups and downs. You ended the season by qualifying for the American Collegiate Athletic Association Championships as a number one seed. We played five ranked opponents, six that qualified for the NCAA, including Hope, which made the Elite Eight. Another team, Silver Lake, went to the semifinals of the USCAA. Did our tough schedule help us get to where we were at the end of the season? Well, it got us the seed, no question. And the unfortunate thing is, you know, we had our numbers were so low that we had a team I thought capable of winning it uh, had we been about two, three players deeper. So, you know, in some respects, it was a, it was an honor to have a, rewarded for such a tough schedule and competing so well. But on the flip side, you know, with our numbers, it, it didn't bear out like I wanted it to. We only had two seniors on the team, but they have definitely left their impact on the program. Talk a little bit about uh, Kelsey Richards and. Julia Davatilla. Well, appreciative of the seniors. You know, they had to have three coaches in their career. Uh, I think they both, you know, hit the record books at some point. Um, outstanding students, ac academically awarded by the ACAA. Uh, you know, then Julia obviously with a thousand points and setting the school free throw record and being the top two or three in the country in that was pretty special. So, you know, you're always disappointed to see seniors go, and these ones definitely had fine careers. Well, you mentioned before about having low numbers. We basically played the last month of the season with six kids. And I think the one thing that we definitely cannot be said about our program this year is that we were not tough. Yeah, and, and we played with some injuries. I mean, you had six kids don't go through a season playing that many minutes without some bumps and bruises. So testament to them and, and testament to this region. This region produces tough people. And most of our kids are from here. So, uh, you know, I, I definitely commend them for, for getting through a long season. Um, with the numbers and the minutes, and uh, you know, we've rectified that with recruiting, so there shouldn't be a concern next year, but uh, I don't think the toughness will change one bit. A couple of pleasant surprises had to be Taylor Pertilli played very well over the last couple of weeks of the season, and J.C. Fascio came basically you know, out of nowhere and really gave us a good shooter, a strong defensive effort. You know, What was it about those kids that just kind of seemed they'd stepped it up this year? Yeah, that, that's a big smile when you mention those two. Uh, Taylor's last two games were good. You know, she's got great fundamentals, and her shooting percentage, just unfortunately for her, uh, wasn't where we wanted it to be. In the last two games, she was on fire, and that's who I think she is and who we're looking forward to be next year. So from that standpoint, really happy. She's a great defender. She often got the toughest assignment, had to play a ton of minutes, played with some injuries that people don't know about, um, especially late in the season. And, uh, you know, I, I think the sky's the limit for her these next couple of years. JC, I'm so glad she's with the program. Um, leader, bought in, completed what we we're doing, most coachable player I've coached at, at a lot of schools. Um, great rebounder, a couple of digit, double digit rebounding games. Uh, and, and she's a good shooter too. I, I think as we get deeper next year, um, you know, the shots will fall for people that aren't quite as tired and asked to do the things they were asked to do this year. So those two really, uh, you know, brightened the season for me. And, and um, you know, Taylor and JC have bright futures. Well, Coach Juana, thank you for your time here today. And Congratulations on the season and best of luck next year. Thank you. This has been the Finlander Report brought to you by the Sports Information Department.